guys and welcome once more guys today we're gonna be doing a non-scientific comparison between the two boya mics that we recently reviewed comparing them to the Rode VideoMic Pro we are doing this comparison because most of you maybe never hear or tested the boya mics and most of the people already know the VideoMic Pro from Rode so this is gonna let you know what to expect when you're using one of these boya mics so let's go ahead and dive into this non-scientific test in photography aperture is expressed in f numbers for example f 5.6 these F numbers that are known as F dots are a way of describing the size of the aperture. A smaller F dot means a larger aperture, while a larger F dot means a smaller aperture. In photography, aperture is expressed in F numbers. For example, f5.6. These f numbers that are known as f dots are a way of describing the size of the aperture. A smaller f dot means a larger aperture, while a larger f dot means a smaller aperture. In photography, aperture is expressed in F numbers. For example, F5.6. These F numbers that are known as F dots are a way of describing the size of the aperture. A smaller F dot means a larger aperture, while a larger F dot means a smaller aperture. Okay, okay guys, this was a really big surprise to see how the Boja mics compare and performs against one of the favorite mics on the market, the Rode VideoMic Pro. And to be honest, uh, many companies keep selling their product at a really high price and these new companies are coming with really good product, really good uh, build as well for a lot cheaper. Um, to be honest, the Rode VideoMic has a better construction, better build than the Boja, than both of the Boja mics. But honestly, if you take care of your equipment, the Boja mics, both of them will last a long time. Now, the ratio from signal to noise on the Rode VideoMic is just a hair better than both of the Boja mics, specifically better than the uh, Elite Stereo one. But compared to the Boja, the one that is the BYVN190P, there is almost no difference at all. And again, the Rode video might cost four times more than what the Boja might cost. This was a really good test because sometimes we go and we purchase equipment based on their brand and we don't really look at other brands just because we are used to the regular or the traditional brands. But in this case, the Boja mics are equal, if not better in sound quality to this Rode video mic. Thumbs up to Boja people because they have delivered a really good product and an amazing price. Guys, thank you so much because you watched this video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't like it, press the other button. Until next time, my name is Frank. Thank you so much. Bye.